Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's one of our little treat boxes, which is wonderful, giant matchboxes. I love them. They're so huge. Look at the size of that. It's oh, uh, four and an eighth by two and three quarters by ooh, one and five eighths of an inch. Let me tell you what that is in metric. They're huge. They are so big. That is uh, ten and a half by seven by four centimeters they're really really great size but i've decorated it with snail mail i love it so the first things first i'm going to stamp and die cut because i want my stamping to dry before i start doing the coloring because i might not possibly have gotten on this one and i had a little bit of wibblage over there but that's all good so snailed it and the snail dies i love them they're so pretty so much fun Right, let me get a couple of blocks. And so when I use Memento, my technique is twist, tap, and then I get a nice even coverage. Look at that, perfect. And then this one. And this one I'm not actually going to die cut. I'm going to use my postage label punch for this one and put that over there. And I'm going to get my little mini cutting emboss. I love this thing. Where are my plates? There's one. There's another. And we get a little post-it note ready. And the dies would be helpful. Getting the dies out would be useful. Right. So that one it is. So I'm just lining that up. There's the sticky end. Sticky there. And there. Here's my other clay paint and send the whole lot through. And then what I can do, those two, which <laughs> are now out of view, those two can fully dry before I start doing colouring. Okay, let me get all this clutter off my desk. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put designer series paper on this. So, what did I say it was? Oh, just dropped my ruler. So, ten and a half centimetres by seven. So, I want to cut my designer series paper and I'm not going to do the bottom down to so I want 10 what did I say oh <laughs> 10 by 7 so I want six and a half 10 by six and a half so that's going to be my bit that sits on the top and I've got the width already so that is four centimetres, which means I need to cut two of these at three and a half. So that's for my two sides. And then the ends are going to be uh, six and a half by three and a half. Here's my other piece. So I want... I'm going to trim that down to three and a half. Six and a half. And six and a half. And that's from one sheet of designer series paper because those are my three pieces left. Fabulous. Okay, so these boxes are very simple to put together and to make. This is obviously the inside. 
so you just fold backwards and forwards and I've got a very animated child in the room next door <laughs> I think he's winning on his game don't quote me on that but I think he is <laughs> Okay. Oh, I need to put that bit in there. <laughs> Let's get the tabs in there first. And that one. There we go. And that one. I made that look terribly complicated, didn't I? Oh, I forgot, still forgot to put the bits on the end. Let's put the bits on the end now. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. And then these outer bits, this is obviously just the wrapper. So quite simple, the top and two sides. One top, one side. Obviously if you work in Imperial, just measure your box and wrap her in Imperial and take off about a quarter of an inch. Uh, sorry, an eighth of an inch. Not too much, basically. Just so you get a nice little border. There we go. Right, let's colour these and let's hope they're dry. So I'm going to zoom in. So obviously that was Bermuda Bay. So I've got the matching Bermuda Bay inks and I've got Purple Posy and then my crumb cake for my snail so I'm just going to go over a bit there with the dark first and then blend backwards and forwards just going over that same patch and we'll have a bit more dark a bit more there and then go over it again and this is how you get the blend uh, and you can see that has blended nicely easy right with the dark let me look for a scrap of whisper white what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the spiral around the outside edge and then go over it with the light. So again I'm just following the spiral. Oh, I've just gone into that bit. But I'm just going to keep working over it and expanding my area a little bit. And that's how you build up the colour. And then I want to come back in with the dark just one more time I'm just going to thicken that slightly I can see the definition there but as I blend it all that lovely ink is going to move around how fab is that? then well I've got this in my hand I'm going to do light at the bottom of this envelope, 
I'm not going to do blending I'm just using this like a coloring pen and then the dark at the top I'm testing on here only because I haven't used this color for quite some time so I didn't know how what it was going to be like and then just to finish my purple posy and I want the dark first just at the bottom of the parcels and then push that colour up a little and that will darken a, a bit so it will go like this one here and let me zoom back out again get some dimensionals for the back of these happy mail enclosed you could put some nice yummy little treats in that couldn't you and I think those are really cute nice little projects easy to do as well and a great way to practice with your blends anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you very soon bye